Okay. Okay. So we'll go through this together. Did anybody get an answer, by the way? If so, you can just drop it in the chat. We'll uh, chat. But let's try this one and see how we go. So I'll put it here. Uh, and let's read this together. Okay. So uh, it says the diagram shows a cube. It says AH is 11.3 centimeters, correct to the nearest millimeter. Calculate the lower bound for the length of an edge of the cube. You must show all of your working. Okay, so first things first, we have AH given to us and it's correct to the nearest millimeter. We know uh, that this is just to the nearest 0 0.1 centimeters. Yeah. So what we could do is half this 0 0.1 and add it and subtract it to get the upper and lower bound for uh, AH 11.3. Right. So I'll do 0 0.1 divided by 2. This is equal to 0 0.05. Uh, and then to get the uh, upper bound for H, AH, sorry, I'll write AH upper. This will just equal 11.3 plus 0 0.05, which is 11.35. Yeah. And then to get the lower bound, we'll just subtract that uh, number. Yeah. So 11.3, whoops, 11.3 minus 0 0.05. Yeah, which is 11.25. Yep. So fine. We've got our upper and lower bound. Now the question says we need to calculate the lower bound for the length of an edge of the cube. Okay. Well, where are the edges of this cube here? You know what I'm going to do just before I'm going to screenshot this again. So I want to probably have more than one diagram. So yeah. We'll do it here. So where are the edges of the cube? Remember, this is a cube, by the way, meaning that each face, each surface is a square. What do we know about squares? They all have the same length, yeah, everywhere. So we don't know what these lengths are, but we can express this algebraically. We can call, we could just call them x, right? Every edge of the cube, which are here, right? These are all x's, aren't they? Yeah, okay. So what we're actually looking for is the lower bound for x, yeah? So uh, just like the other question we did, we need to create some sort of equation involving uh, x, right? Now, if you think of it, they've told us that a to h is 11.3, correct to the nearest millimeter, right? So where is a to h though? Well, remember, let me just copy this one more time. Remember when we did a uh, 3D trig, I think we did 3D trig maybe before Christmas, right? Uh, think of this as a room, this cube, think of this as a room. They said a to h. Well, we can see a to h is one corner of the room, all the way to the other. So let me just draw that. So let me get a line. So this is A, right? And then I'm going to put H here, right? So we can see that this is A to H, isn't it? So imagine this was a room, right? And imagine this line here is uh, like a zip line. And then there's somebody zip lining, yeah? Right? This is the line A to H. And we know that this is 11.3 correct to the nearest millimeter, yeah? Okay. Remember, we're looking for the lower bound for x, and we know that each edge is x, right? We don't know where it is, but we're going to call it x. So what we need to do, just like we do with 3D trig, we need to uh, find some right angle triangle. And we can do that because if you think about it, uh, if I do f to h right here, remember, this here, if I do that, this here, this here will make a right angle triangle, wouldn't it? Let me move this a bit up here. So right here, yeah? So we can see, for example, let me put this in a different color here. This right here, right, will be a right angle for sure. And then, for example, we've got this triangle here. We've got AFH. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw that triangle out here. Yeah. So ink to shape. And then let me do another triangle like this. Like that. Yeah. And then this triangle here is just the one drawn in the diagram. So this is at A. This is F right? And this is H. Yeah? Okay. Now, remember, we know that this is 11.3 centimeters, correct to the nearest millimeter. Remember, this is bounded by our bounds of 11.35 and 11.25. So let me actually write this here. We know that A to H here, right, has a boundary. Yeah? We know that it's 11.25 uh, here and 11.35 here. Yeah? Okay. Now, if we look at the diagram, A to F is one of the edges of the cube, right? We called this uh, edge X, right? Okay. Now, 
what is the other length, F to H, which is this one right here, yeah? Now, as you can see, right, this is not the edge of a cube, isn't it? So we cannot call this X. This is the diagonal between F and H. This is not an edge of the cube, right? This line was created by me, isn't it? I drew a line. The edges are the distances around the cube. So this blue line is not X, right? So we can't put an X here, wrong, yeah? We need to calculate this distance algebraically. But how can we do that? Well, think of it like this. Remember when, when you do 3D trick, it's all about bird's eye views and creating right angle triangles. I can put a right angle right here because this surface here is a square. The corners are, are right angles, so for sure. Now, if I uh, put this here, this triangle here, right? This triangle right here, this is F-E-H. Now, imagine you're at a bird's eye view and you're looking down on this cube. This triangle here will look like this, wouldn't it? This triangle, uh, I need to do into shape. This triangle will look like this. It will look like this. Like that, right? And we have a right angle here. This is F, this is E, and this is H. Yeah? Okay. Now, what do we know? Well, F to E is an edge of the cube. So is E to H. This is another edge. So I could call this X2. Yeah? Now we can use Pythagoras' theorem to find an expression for F to H. And then once we do that, we can put it here, right? So let's do that. Well, we know from Pythagoras' theorem, A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. So for example, I could say this is A, this is B, and then this is C, which I'll call F to H, right? And then we know Pythagoras' theorem is A squared plus B squared uh, is equal to C squared. So let me just write that out plus b squared is equal to c squared. So therefore we will get uh, x squared plus another x squared is equal to uh, f to h squared. Yeah, okay. Now simplify this, we get 2x squared here is equal to uh, f to h all squared. And then therefore f to h will just be the square root of this, isn't it? 2x all squared. And then uh, this is f to h. Yeah, okay. This is good because now we have an expression for f to h. So I'm going to write this as the square root of 2x squared. And now I can put this here, square root of 2x squared. Yeah. Now remember the whole point of this question. They're asking us for the lower bound for the length of an edge of a cube. So we need x lower. So remember when we did that question above with the right angle triangle, where is it? Uh, where did I put it? I can't seem to find it. Oh yeah, here, B. When we asked for the lower bound for B, we needed to create some formula in terms of, of B. So the same way we have a right angle triangle, we need to create some formula in terms of X, which we can do by using Pythagoras' theorem. So remember, they're asking us for the lower bound of the length of an edge of a cube. We know that the length of an edge of a cube is dependent on X. So for example, what we can do here is just use this triangle now and say, well, X here must be uh, equal to, uh, let's use Pythagoras' theorem again. So this will be A, this will be B, and this will be C, right? Okay. So now we could say that we'll have, uh, I'll use Pythag again, Pythag. This will just be uh, X squared plus this hair all squared. So it'll be the square root of 2X all squared is equal to C squared, which is 11.3. Right now, remember this is to the nearest uh, millimeter. Yeah, and remember we have bounds for this, right? So what we can do uh, here, well, if you think about it, if we're looking for the lower bound for the edge, right, and x is a part of this equation, then definitely for sure we would have to be using this one, eleven point two five, right? Because that value of x would give us the lowest uh, length for the edge, wouldn't it? So therefore we can replace this here with 11.25. And then now we can uh, simplify this. So for example, we have X squared here. And then plus, what happens here? Remember your third laws, yeah? I have something square rooted, right? And I'm squaring it. Can somebody tell me what happens? Yeah? Give a couple of seconds, what happens? What do we do? when we have a square root and then we square something. Remember your third laws. Yes, thank you very much now.
we're just going to be left with the thing underneath, aren't we? Yeah. So let me just explain that just again. So remember, we have the square root of A all squared, right? The square root and the square cancel out, you're just left with A. So in this case, we can see that this is our A hanger, isn't it? Yeah. So we're just going to be left with 2x squared, right? And then now we just simplify. So we're going to have 3x squared is equal to 11.25. And actually, I forgot to put the squared here, actually, because it's a Pythagoras theorem. So remember, this should be squared, shouldn't it? So this should be a squared as well. Yeah. So this should be squared. I just forgot to put the squared there. But yeah, remember, because it's Pythagoras theorem, a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. So this should be squared. So that's fine. And then now we just need to solve for uh, uh, x, right? And we can do that. So we just say x squared is equal to 11.25 all squared divided by 3. And then now to get x, we just need to put this into our calculator. Square root of 11.25 squared divided by 3. So here, put this into the calculator and see what it gives us. Uh, let me get my calculator up. So the answer will just be the square root of uh, 11.25 all squared divided by three, yeah? And this is equal to 6.495. Now it didn't give us a degree of accuracy. And when that happens, you just put it to three significant figures, yeah? So uh, put it here, 6.50, isn't it, yeah? So 6.50. So yeah, you would just say X lower. Remember, this was the lower edge. Yeah. So X lower is 6.50 centimeters. Yeah. Does that make sense, guys? How did we find that? I think somebody put in the chat that they maybe got close, but they missed.